Hi everyone, it's Ryan here with Absurdity.com. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to tie together different software of your business. Today's world, we have access to enterprise level software at the tips of our fingers for a fraction of the cost. But with all this added power, there comes added complexity. Each one of these apps are good at doing one thing, whether that's handling your finances, handling your sales, or improving your customer relations. But what happens when all these things tie together like they do in most businesses? You need to also tie together your software as well. Some software offers to do this directly. They have integrations from, let's say, Pipedrive to QuickBooks, which handles your finances. But this doesn't account for all of your custom needs. Every business is gonna be different. So therefore, you're gonna need some sort of custom integration. This is exactly what I'm gonna show you guys in this video, how to integrate your software with no experience with programming and very little time needed. So let's jump over to the screen and let's get right into it. All right, for this example, we're gonna be using Formsite, which is just a simple form software that can be embedded on your website. Here's an example form that we're gonna be using for this example. We're also gonna be using Pipedrive. Uh, I've created a pipeline which you can track deals, so when a new lead comes in, you can grab these boxes and move them over. We're gonna be using this for tracking our sales. And then FreshBooks, which is a financing software which we'll be using to send invoices and create contacts. So I'm gonna quickly show this process one time through and then actually work you through the steps itself. So let's fill out this form and get it started. Okay, so to get into the details of how we did what you just saw, head on over to zapier.com. The link is in the description below along with other resources that might help for this process. So make sure to check that out. Once you're on Zapier, you can create a free account. And once you're logged in, you'll have a dashboard that looks like this. Right away, just head on over to make a zap. Okay, so we are now making our first zap. There's two terms you should know trigger and action. So a software could be the trigger that sets off a workflow, which is a series of actions, or it can be an action, which is just something that happens. You'll notice I have this blocked out. This is usually your apps that you actually own on this platform. And that's why I have it here for privacy reasons or its most common apps. So let's set the trigger of the sequence, which in our case is gonna be Formsite. Form site is gonna trigger off of a new form result here. We're gonna save and continue. Now we gotta connect our account. So connect a new account. These options, what you need to provide will change depending on what software you're actually using. However, most of them you're gonna need an API key. So head on over to your software and it all depends on your software, but you'll have to figure out where to find this information. Just type into Google your software and API key and you should be able to find it. Just copy over this information into the fields in Zapier. And then click yes to continue and authorize your account. Go back here and then test your account. Go down to save plus continue. Now it's gonna ask which form. We have multiple different forms. This was a drop down with a list of all your forms. Now continue. Fetch and continue. It's gonna grab any recent activity. Since it could not find a result, you gotta go back and make sure that there's an input there. So there needs to be an actual form entry. Head back over to form site. 
This is our example form. Let's fill it out just so we have a recent entry. Okay, let's try again and see if that registers. Fetch and continue. There we go. Continue. Now we're gonna create our action step, which is gonna be adding this new lead into our CRM, in this case, pipe drive. Now we get to choose what we wanna do. In this case, I'm gonna be creating a deal. So click this button here. Okay, once again, you're gonna have to link up your account. I've already linked mine here, but once again, connect a new account and then you're gonna have to transfer over the API key and then submit that here. So now we're going to decide on what is gonna be filled into the fields for each deal. Now for the title of our deal, we're gonna name this by the company name that was submitted in our form. And then the other required one is status. This is just a pipe drive terminology, open one lost or deleted deals, open. Now these fields are all gonna change depending on what software you're using. If you're using Pipedrive or Zoho or any other CRM, they'll change a little bit, but they're pretty much all the same as long as you know how to use them. So then these are optional here. I've already got all of them filled out, but the stage is just a pipe drive term. What area it's gonna be going into, it's gonna be a new lead, and it's in this pipeline sales tracking example. User, this comes from the form, or no, the user is uh, who's gonna be seeing this in pipe drive since you have multiple, you can have multiple users in pipe drive. Um, organization, this is from the form, person's name from the form, person's phone, email. Um, currency, visible to, bigger details, uh, their website, a um, ton of different fields that you can set in Pipedrive and I won't be filling out these for now because it's just a lot. So scroll all the way down here and continue. Looks like it was successful so let's finish that and then I have already named my zap but you should have a field right here that allows you to name it. Um, go ahead and do that just so you can decipher which is which. Let's head on over to pipe drive, see if it works. All right, so it looks like it worked. Uh, the data has been pushed from the form to our CRM, which is pipe drive with the title. Um, if you click through here, we'll see the owner is me. The company organization is me as well. Scrolling down further, you'll see the phone number, email, um, et cetera, and more information. So scroll back to the pipe drive dashboard here. This is our pipeline. Now let's say we want to connect QuickBooks and Pipedrive, our CRM, whatever you're using. So let's say we move this over to the next stage in the pipeline to pre-sales communication. Once we do that, we want to create an invoice in QuickBooks. We want to specify how much this deal is going to be worth to us and how much the invoice is going to be for. So let's just say $750. Right? So this is going to spin up an invoice, but not send it out for $750 for this person based on the email that is in this deal here. Now let's say we move it once more to send invoice. And this will actually go ahead and automatically send that invoice by email to the email in this deal. So let's go ahead and head back on over to Zapier and make another zap. So we want to trigger on the movement of something in Pipedrive. So our trigger is gonna be Pipedrive in this case. Now reading through some of these descriptions, you'll see triggers when you create a deal, any deal enters a specific stage. So that's what we're looking for here. Save and continue. Once again, connecting your accounts. Let's test this just to make sure. Save and continue. So you can put a filter on your deal here. So we're not immediately going to see what we need here for a stage. Instead, we're gonna have to go into pipe drive and create a filter, uh, check pipe drive and reload this, and then hopefully we'll be able to see the filter. So we're in pipe drive once more. I'll show you how to create this filter. Go to this tab here scroll down to the bottom and you'll see add new filter add a condition so when the deal is in the stage of scroll to the bottom here sales tracking example 
um, when it's in the pre-sales communication. And I changed the filter name here just so I can decipher. Save that filter. Let's head on back to Zapier. Check pipe drive and reload. We're back on Zapier. Now we want to reload this. I misspelled it the first time, so I had to change it up. And we're gonna scroll down and look for deal stage is pre-sales communication. So this is the filter that we placed. Continue. Looks like it worked, so we're just gonna continue on. Okay, now we want to make the action step of this. And I know I've been saying QuickBooks previously in this video, but we're gonna switch it over to FreshBooks this time. There really is no difference besides the software. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just QuickBooks is having some errors at the moment. And I don't wanna wait till they fix it for me to finish this video. So let's just use FreshBooks here. Scroll down and we are going to do create a client. Now let's connect our new account. It's as easy as that. Now hit save and continue. We're going to add in our accounts. Add in the email. It's gonna be the email address in the form that the person submitted. First name, then we got last name, organization, uh, whatever you wanna put in here for the invoices. which I'm not gonna put everything in here as this is just for an example. Scroll all the way down, continue, and save these results here. This is what's gonna be made in our accounts is the email happyman at gmail, which I'm actually gonna change for the sake of testing this out, create. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then go on, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna turn this on. Now head on over to FreshBooks, Let's head on over to the client section, and refresh this area to see if it worked. As you can see, it worked right here, created a new client. Okay, so I went through one more time and just updated this so I can actually test if this is working later on. All right, let's head on back to Zapier. Now, if you are on a paid account, then you can make multi-step zaps so you can do another action. If you're on a free account, you can get around this by just making multiple two-step zaps where the tri this would be the trigger and then you would create a new invoice um, as the action if that makes This time we're going to create an invoice. Is this invoice going to be paid? Um, this is no at this point. Date of issue, that's just gonna be whatever the date is. So let's see if we can pull that information from somewhere in here. So here is the deal add time. We're gonna add that in. Okay, the client search, we're gonna have to do this first to find um, the client that we just made. So click OK. The account is gonna be the same as it was before. Then go to um, search field, which is we're gonna be looking for the email specifically. And then the search value is gonna come from that um, pipe drive deal, which was created from the form entry. Um, so let's scroll down. So this person right here, then click continue. We created that search, it was successful, found one. So now we're back here once more, um, click through everything once again. So now we're back on the create an invoice tab that we're just on. And as you can see, there's the search right there. Line item name, so this is gonna be the name that is gonna be on the invoice. Let's take this from the pipe drive and just add in our name of the person or organization, doesn't matter. Line item quantity, this is if you're selling like hours or whatever. You're gonna to have to put that in a form if you want, otherwise just keep this as a constant one. And then the unit cost, um, you pull that from the deal value that you set in pipe drive. Um, all the other stuff we're not going to fill out. Everything's good here. So continue. Uh, create and continue here. And then finish. Let's turn this on and head on over to FreshBooks. Then go on over to invoices here to check if the invoice was created. And it was for $750. And this was the date it was created on. Perfect. 
head on over to pipe drive. Now we want to, oh, I had this move. So this was being created in the pre-sales. Um, so what we did was create a customer and then an invoice. Now we want to send that invoice out once this is moved. So back on over to Zapier. All right, so I jumped ahead a little bit here, connected pipe drive. I'll show you how I changed this. The filter is changed to deal stage is sent invoice. So I had to go back to pipe drive and change that filter around. So click and continue here. Let's add an action step. Fresh books. And now we're going to send an invoice. So show less common options here. Send invoice, save and continue. Select all this information. For invoice ID, this is the invoice that's already currently in there and made. Email subject, which is required. For this, you can actually do a hybrid in between uh, constant text. So you could say, hey there, their name. So you can add in, uh, let's find their name. Here is your invoice. You know, something like that, something better, obviously. And um, the email body, you can put whatever you want as well. So let's just continue, leave it as that. Create and continue, finish that up and turn this on. As you can see, we got the email here from Ryan Moran. Hey there, Ryan Moran, which is uh, the dynamic value we put in there. So you can customize your messages and here's the invoice. So there we go. So there you go, we got it all set up. Uh, this is pretty cool. You can think of thousands of different use cases for this and uh, just automate pretty much every part of your business that you possibly can. Might as well, um, in order to scale up a business, you need to free up some time and this is a easy, um, cheap or free way to uh, scale up your business and automate some of the back systems. All right guys, that's it for the video. It's been a long day for me. I put in a lot of hours. So I'm gonna keep this short. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, I know I was a little bit scattered in the delivery of that, then put those in the comments below. And make sure to check the description as well because I got a few resources um, depending on if you want to do more custom uh, integrations. So check those out. And also subscribe if you guys wanna learn how to make money online to make passive income systems work for you while you sleep. So. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.